So today let's talk about a new tuning trend, aka JM1 or a pop variant from Diffuse Field. Since there's quite a lot of fox and discussion about it, and as a proud owner of one of the representatives of the tuning style, I feel like it's time to throw my two cents on the board. But before that, let's talk about the difference between the new tuning trend and the ever-famous Harmon style. No, I will not throw a thesis down here, we'll just visually compare it by graph and casually talk about it in terms of subtractive listening experience. We good? Cool. Here's the comparison between two of the most famous earphones in their respective tuning spectrum, with the variation on the Harman side and Da Vinci on the new tuning side. Basically, the new tuning style tends to have more mid-range and less of a presence or 3K region. One may even loosely say that, taking 1K as the talk, turn the Harman target clockwise, you get a new one. How about subjective listening experience? I would say the graphs are fairly representative and accurate to a certain degree. The pros of the new tuning style is the media, more hefty kind of presentation in terms of overall sound. It sounds more laid back and relaxing, sort of mellowy depending on how you would phrase it. The cons of it is obvious as well. It's less contrasty or vibrant than Harman tuning. Some may experience bloomy bass and overshadowed vocal if they don't have a perfect ear tips match or if they are listening to song that is not mixed it or mastered well. Now here's the main topic that I want to discuss and talk about. Is the new meta tuning an expensive tuning style? Here's my two cents. Unfortunately, at the current stage of late 2024, I think it is. Don't get me wrong. I think the new tuning style is a very ideal tuning. I really think it is. But the first hole or requirement of technicality to fulfill such tuning is way higher than the good old Harman tuning as well. For the reasons we have discussed it above, I don't give a damn about people who listen to music with their eyes. But I do care about opinions from people who listen to music with their own ears. You can easily spot the dissatisfaction with the new tuning style from genuine customers, not from journalists or sales from different companies, especially when the technicality seems to be on the no side. So yeah, that's my thought on the new tuning style. As someone who fairly embraces different kinds of tuning without too much of a strong preference, I hope I'm wrong on this topic. I really hope. The market will tell and we will see. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Should be about Cadence. Bye.